for many, Mass Effect Andromeda is one of the releases of next year, but there's a bit of a mystery surrounding the multiplayer right now and its connection to the single player campaign. Now of course, Bioware have already confirmed that there is indeed a connection, it's not going to be a Dragon Age Inquisition situation where the multiplayer and the single player are completely separate entities, however it's not going to be a Mass Effect 3 type situation either where you're basically forced to do the multiplayer by tying that what you did there with your readiness in terms of the galactic space and obviously impacting your ending. This is something that I've got quite a bit of criticism from fans and to be honest rightfully so. So it seems that the amount that the single player and multiplayer are linked falls somewhere between these two very different extremes. Now I've got a few comments here from Ian Frazier, the lead designer for Mass Effect Andromeda who spoke to Game Informer and their rather lengthy report will be linked in the description below. And he described the connection as quote tendrils going into the game's campaign. And it seems to be the way that it's going to work is that you can do so certain kind of side missions yourself in multiplayer or you can s send teams to complete them. And I have a bit of a comment here from the producer whose name I'm probably just about to butcher so do forgive me, Fabrice Condominus. And they said, quote, you will have possibilities to send teams to complete kind of side missions or do it yourself in multiplayer, that's the idea. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to feel obligated, at least if Bioware do their job right. You know, Frasier said, quote, if you feel cheated, we've done something wrong. They very much want it to be an option for you to go into the multiplayer and do these special kind of side missions yourself. Or if you really don't want to delve into that kind of thing, you can just send you know, in-game characters to do it for you. And it won't be a Mass Effect 3 situation where it's going to have a direct impact on your readiness for certain events or whatever. And obviously directing, sorry, directly then having a domino effect on the ending that you received. Now also, apparently the multiplayer in Andromeda is looking to be far more dynamic than that of previous titles. And it's going to be changing things up fairly significantly from Mass Effect 3. Of course, Keeping things dynamic is definitely interesting, you don't want to be stagnant and it seems that it's going to be keeping you on the move rather than restricting you to one area at all times, so it's not just going to be like, here's your arena, deal with it, it's going to be obviously a restricted area but you're going to have a bit more freedom, you know, a bit more move, room to move around, so it does seem that we are getting quite the change from Mass Effect 3. But I would love to hear some thoughts from you guys, long-standing Mass Effect players. What are your thoughts on these potential changes for Mass Effect? As I said, the full thing from Game Informer is in the description below. I suggest you read it, as it is rather lengthy, and I've only touched on the surface of what they discussed. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.